At 7.30 this morning, KPFK received a call from a woman identifying herself as a member of the Weather Underground. Hello. I'm going to read a declaration of a state of war. This is the first communication from the Weatherman Underground. Kids know the lines are drawn. Revolution is touching all of our lives. Kids are making love, smoking dope, and loading guns. Fugitives from American justice are free to go. Within the next 14 days, we will attack a symbol or institution of American injustice. Libertarianism that was unthinkable 40 years ago. A base to uh, study, a base to think, a base to survive, a base from which to fight, not just in the early stages where the fighting is small and selective, but along the way as it develops and grows, and as the fight becomes a really massive social upheaval. We figured out how to use guns and how to use bombs. I mean, we, we taught ourselves, we trained ourselves how to do it. At the same time, the organization was unable to resolve the question of how militant, how far would we go. Some people felt, literally, that the bigger the mess we could make, the better. That is, that whatever it cost, whatever, you know, destructive um, uh, kinds of activity we could do against the U.S. government, the better. Toward the end of 1968, I had really decided that I was committed to being a part of what I thought was going to be a really serious and ongoing uh, rebellion upheaval that had the potential of not just ending the war, but of really overthrowing the capitalist system and put in its place something much more humane. And it was 